Hi, I'm Liz Baker, and I'm the director for SARSEF, we're the Southern Arizona Research Science and Engineering Fair. And we're really trying to, uh, to target the Title I students, especially the underrepresented minorities. We're really passionate about getting kindergarten through 12th grade students involved because it's really important to get kids to understand that they can do science no matter who they are before the stereotypes start to form. So what I really want is to let all of the parents out there know that your kids can participate and you can make a difference in their lives. Your school doesn't have to do science projects to get involved. You can help your kids through the process and we'll help you do it too. So when I was in the third grade, I did my first science fair project and I wasn't good at anything <laughs> before I did science fair. I didn't get trophies for soccer, I didn't get um, things for art, but I got a trophy for doing science and that just really changed the course of my life and I ended up winning $250,000 in scholarships just from doing science fair projects. This year we've encouraged students to take on a community challenge. We take the kids through the process to see a problem that's going on in their home, uh, it could be in their neighborhood, um, even at school, that they want to solve. And then we help them turn that into a science or engineering project. So that way they can relate it directly to their lives and see that they can make a difference uh, doing science. What one team of students did uh, who lived in Baba Kivri, they're on the Tohono O'odham Reservation, uh, is they chose to help their grandmother. Uh, they noticed that she was getting sick at night and they realized that it was probably because it was getting so cold. She didn't have electricity in her house. So they designed a solar heater and they did it by picking up soda cans, just Coke and Pepsi cans that were laying around on the ground. They got duct tape, tin foil, cardboard, and they made a solar heater that actually kept her warm through the night. And it was so good that the Environmental Protection Agency recognized them at the International Science and Engineering Fair. So now, not only do they have a heater that works for their grandmother, but it works for the whole community and other people in the world. So for more information about SARSEF and the events going on during SARSEF Week, just go to sarsef.org. That's S-A-R-S-E-F.org.